these are the main things that we're doing. We Excellent. Have. Congratulations. 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 All right, let's go over to Korea, Young Suk Park, the hotshot publisher that now is being challenged by Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let me share my, uh, where was it? Okay, here. Right. Can you can you see this? Yes. So <laughs> I it, copied you. your your slide and sure. <laughs> changed it into mine. Okay. Um. Uh, this is Young Su Park, uh, <laughs> Millennium Project Korea Node report. Um. I have a uh, Mr. Nam Hyung Gun, a uh, MP Korea, um, future studies guy here. Say hello. To everybody, Nam Hyung-gun. Nam Hyung-gun Si, he was here <laughs> a while ago. Okay, anyway, he was the one who translated the Work Tech 2050. Uh, okay, let me uh, just- That's a lot of work. Go through. That's a gigantic yeah. report. Wow. <laughs> Book publishing, okay. We sort of published uh, World Future Report 2022 and the uh, World Report 2035, 2055, and this is children's version. <laughs> so uh -huh. um, that's a uh, normal. And Work Tech 2050, we published this uh, actually last year, but uh, it didn't sell, I mean, it still sells some, but not very well. <laughs> uh anyway it's um still in the bookstores and i published this one herman khan's uh story that he visited about you know 12 years or 13 years uh meeting with uh, Park Jung Hee, then the president this is the late president Park Jung Hee. Uh, learning all these foresight <laughs> technologies and um, methodologies from Herman Khan. So this book uh, is uh, um, not really in the bookstores, but uh, I have uh, two bookstores selling these <laughs> in Korea. And if you can this, look at this picture, this is um, President Park and right next to President Park, there is a uh, uh, Herman Khan and next to Herman Khan, I hope you all know Herman Khan. You know? <laughs> uh, next to Herman Khan, there is a guy, third secretary from the American embassy then this is uh, 1975, so he's meeting, he's been visiting Korea so many times, over a hundred times, and Jerry knows <laughs> all this story. Okay, oh, and let, second, let me take a little quick pause on that. Uh, uh, we don't take this out of your time, just out of, I'm, I'm interrupting a little time. I think yeah. everybody should know this story. Why? It is probably one of the most effective acts of future stuff in the history of foresight. And here's my, my, my evidence. You know, because people always say, well, when is, you know, what decisions did it make? Well, the president then of Mexico was a former elementary school teacher, if I remember correctly. So how was it that a former elementary school teacher created the greatest economic miracle in the history of civilization? Out of what? Well, Herman and he used to hang out together. It wasn't just like, usually we're asked to come in and give a briefing, you know, and then we get in the plane and we leave. And then maybe there's an impact, maybe there's not. But what Herman did and what the president smartly did is they would hang out together, get drunk together. So that over years of being together, the president got it in his bones. So he didn't have to look at a report. He had been future oriented on the transition from, from mud huts to what we have today. Uh, and it's, it's it, whether you're right wing or left wing or like him or don't like him, it is one of the greatest impacts of a futurist uh, I have seen uh, around. So uh, you should all know this story. And so Young Su Park, first person yeah. to publish it, and it should be understood that the people mm -hmm. who liked Park Chung Hee don't want to be reminded an American futurist had something to do with it. And the people mm -hmm. who 
who who like him or, or don't like him don't want to be reminded he was successful economically. So mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons she's had a hard time <laughs> getting this thing published. Yeah, um, there is a presidential election coming in three months, and uh, people are now again talking about uh, Park Jung Hee. And Homon Khan gave the uh, suggestions to the late Park Jung Hee to build a uh, highway <laughs> from Seoul to Busan. Then everybody was against the idea you don't need a highway, we don't have uh, cars, you don't have anything to transport. But anyway, he did it. He built it. Now uh, we have so many highways, you know, you cannot tell. And also he was the one who uh, sort of uh, gave the idea of a green belt in Korea. And nobody ever heard about green belt. And Herman Khan said that if you do the uh, industrialization, you have to have a, a pollution control and all this, and you have to have a green belt. So uh, President Park came into a cabinet meeting and said, let's do it. This is a green belt. And no minister knew what was green belt. They were studying. And that, that was the idea of Herman Khan and all this. I'm getting excited when I talk about him, you know. <laughs> OK, visit by Yvonne, Yvonne Zagasti. Um, he came and uh, uh, he, he visited. Um, actually about a week and uh, gave a lecture for Good People Power, an NGO on futures. And of course, uh, on Mondragon as well. That was uh, at 7 p.m. There are a lot of people. And actually, because of uh, COVID-19, you uh, have an uh, online uh, as well. And he gave another lecture uh, uh, for this um Future Asset Development Academy, these are the investors uh, who invest in uh, futures technologies, futures industries. So they were sort of impressed by uh, Jogasti <laughs> Yvonne and came back to me, said that uh, all these good things. Okay, and the third MOU with uh, Moin uh, uh, on robots and metaverse. And this is a company, a metaverse company that I am currently working with. And uh, he's also, the company is also developing robots and uh, languages and all this. And I'll show you my robot. He wants to see had the MOU with actually uh, this Moin um, CEO on the cooperation on robots and metaverse. And this is my my daughter, <laughs> I call her. And very Young nice. Young Suka, She's... three minutes, three minutes. Yeah, okay, going, going, <laughs> quickly going, right? Uh, and this is Moin's uh, product recently came out and this is uh, one person working, <laughs> you know, uh, and he is now trying. This is called RoboDeck and you can lay down, you can sleep, but but you can still do all the programs and robots, Grace, you know, I'm really fond of her and I learned quite a lot and she participated in a fashion show and she is now appearing in the various events and also uh, had an MOU with a, a solar uh, owner, a listed company and all this. So we're going to sort of do a lot of research and writing about and learning about living with the robots. Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank it. you. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now-